Good morning and welcome to the channel. This is uh, the second video in a series I'm doing on soundproofing or it's more making two rooms out of one and we're soundproofing it as well. So if you haven't seen the first video, we installed a safe and sound insulation in the ceiling space cavities, sono pan on the ceiling, opened up this doorway because we'll be putting a dividing wall in between this big room to make two rooms. And so if you haven't seen that, go check it out if you're interested. In today's video, we'll probably be installing the sono pan on this wall. And once this sono pan is installed, we can go ahead and put our resilient channeling on and prepare for uh, drywall. So we'll be doing sono pan, resilient channeling, two layers of 5 8 drywall, all in attempts to create more of a sound proof room. Sound resistant, no one, no company likes to say sound proof, proof anything. So sound resistant, as good as we can, because these rooms will be converted into clinical rooms. So to avoid any exterior sounds coming in and interrupting the workspace, we're going to try and eliminate that. Okay, first things first, we will uh, finish the ceiling. There's two small pieces I have to do, and then jump on this wall. That worked pretty good, cutting it with the multi-purpose saw, jam saw, whatever you want to call it, oscillating tool. Um, putting it in place, cuts it pretty quick. Okay, and so far the wall is 10 times easier than the ceiling. And to make sure that seam is tight, I'll just uh, knock it over the hammer a little bit. Like so. Okay, so this is going pretty well, as you can tell. It's a nice snug fit. They're full eight foot sheets. I put a layer of plastic just as a precaution. There is a sealant on the slab, on the concrete slab, so I shouldn't have to worry about moisture too much. The carpet smells fine and everything, so I don't think that I had any issues with that. But just may as well, while we're here, do that. Another step of precaution we did take in hopes to create the best sound barrier possible is around the receptacle boxes, which are metal, we put a dampening putty, and that just decouples the metal box from the stud, so there's less vibration transfer. Another extra step, this is what we used, again, just in hopes to do all the small things that will add up eventually for that complete package of sound barrier. All right, let's keep going. As I was cutting this piece, it completely delaminated. And you can see it really is just wood fiberboard compressed like you would find in hardboard or almost MDF. So it's pretty interesting. I don't know if the camera will pick up on it or not. 
just a clean break. So I'm not sure how many layers they do. It looks like it's maybe just one. They'll probably dimple both sides, compress it together. Okay, now we do the acoustic sealant on any gaps or any voids that need filling. And we can start in the resilient channeling. Look who was back with his friends. Okay, just like that, the ceiling is done. 12 inch on center, resilient channeling on 10 inch on center joist, so it's fastened up there pretty quick, good. The walls are done, those are two feet on center, every 16 inches, and I did a big cleanup, so that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.